Well, the family of a 15-year-old boy who was shot and killed in Binghamton on Thanksgiving morning cannot understand why the suspected murderer is back on the streets tonight. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Pepper Baker. And I'm Rudy Williams. Now, one of the teens charged in that boy's murder is walking free after bonding out. Now, the question so many are asking tonight is why? Well, a short while ago, our Stephen Pimpo sat down with the judge who made that decision. And Stephen, what did you learn today? Rudy Pepper, Judge Bill Anderson Jr. told me that while he can't comment on ongoing cases, decisions like this one actually give him the authority to monitor and place restrictions on suspects. The victim's grandmother feels otherwise, telling me the 15-year-old's murder has left a hole in her heart that will never be filled. I rushed over to my mom's house and I saw my nephew laying in the street with a bullet hole in the back of his head. That's what Robert Tomlinson says happened to his 15-year-old nephew early Thanksgiving morning when he was shot outside his grandmother's house in Binghampton. Memphis police say 18-year-old Edio White and another 15-year-old were arrested and charged with first-degree murder during the perpetration of a robbery. Monday, White was released on his own recognizance. I don't understand why this guy was let go after murdering my nephew. Get this guy off the street. Judge Bill Anderson Jr. is the one who presided over that bond hearing and made the decision. Without referring to this case specifically, Judge Anderson says the reason he makes this type of ruling is that it allows him to place restrictions on the person involved. Such as curfew, such as drug testing, et cetera, et cetera. But I can only put those restrictions on them if I release them on their own recognizance. Judge Anderson says that if he sets a bond and a bail bond company pays it, they become responsible for monitoring that person. I can't control it because the bail bond company that got this person out, they don't have to listen to me. They're a private industry. Wednesday, State Senator Brent Taylor criticized Judge Anderson for his stance and that his, quote, contempt for the bail system influences his decisions. Judge Anderson says state lawmakers such as Senator Taylor can remove bail bond companies from the process. He may not like the results, but uh, he's in a position to change them and if he wants to change them, that's his prerogative. And Judge Anderson also says the root cause of these problems goes back to the easy access to guns, which is also the responsibility of the state legislature. Rudy Pepper. All right, Stephen, thank you.